Not only are we dealing with the cold, it's also very windy too. Meteorologist Mario Ruiz is joining us here at the desk. And Mario, that makes things a lot worse. The wind chill is just unbearable out there. Right, and I actually have had some questions about why we talk about a wind chill. So when you have the actual temperature, that's what's going to impact your infrastructure, right? That's think of that's when we uh, see if water is going to freeze. That's how we can determine if pipe bursting is mm -hmm. an, an issue. But the wind chill is what actually impacts humans and animals, and it's actually what the feels like temperature is. So let's go ahead and talk about that. The wind chill is actually how cold it feels on your skin whenever the wind is factored in because the wind takes away the layer of warmer air that naturally sits above your skin. And it's actually not a measured number. It's calculated. It takes temperature and wind into consideration in this very long equation that you don't have to worry about. So again, our bodies kind of naturally lose heat, but when that happens, there's a layer of warm air that sits above your skin and whenever there's little to no wind, the temperature actually feels like the temperature. So 15 degrees would actually feel like 15 degrees. But whenever you add in a wind component, it whisks away the layer of warm air that sits above your skin. That's a wind chill. And when it's windy, that air actually does break up that insulating layer of warm air. It actually helps speed up heat loss and it makes it feel a lot colder. So whenever you say calculate a 20 mile per hour wind speed, whenever the temperature is actually 15, it'll feel like it's zero. So that's why it's so important to pay attention to both numbers. Now it's just the actual temperature because that tells us when it's freezing outside, but the wind chill, that's how we determine how it's going to impact humans and animals. Kara, over to you. Yeah, good perspective. Thanks for the insight.